Good morning, my dear students. Welcome again. I'm Ms. Lima Kiki, and uh, today is 7th of uh, December 2020. Welcome to Syrian Educational Platform. Today, our lesson is going to be for 10th grade. English for starters for 10th grade. It is about computer games. The objectives of my lesson or my, my lesson are students will be able to identify three problems related to computer. They will note down the problems and try to give solutions. Students will listen again to find if the helpline assistant gives the, the same advice as theirs. And finally, students can write about any problem they are facing nowadays with their computers and try to give a solution. Let's begin. This is our lesson. It is giving advice, speaking lesson. It is on page 42 in the new book, Passport for the World. So what can you see here? We can see a helpline assistant, and he is going to give us an advice about a computer problem we are facing. So we need help. We need help. We are facing a computer problem and he is going to give us an advice let's listen to the first problem about computer problem and then i want you to note down what is the problem ah what is the problem hi i've just done a really stupid thing i was playing on my computer the game was getting really exciting and i was quite thirsty so i paused my game and went to get some lemonade. When I started playing again, I forgot about my drink. Then I knocked my lemonade over the keyboard. What do you think I should do? Okay, listen carefully. So this is the first problem we are facing. As we can see, he dropped the lemonade over the keyboard. The second ah. one, Second problem, listen carefully and note down, write on your paper, what is the problem? Hi, I'm calling about a very simple problem. I've just installed a new game on my computer and now nothing works. What do you think I should do? Okay, the first thing is this. It's an easy problem. And the third one? Hi, I'm... Third problem, listen carefully. Hello, I hope you can help me. My mouse has almost stopped working. It moves very slowly and sometimes it doesn't move at all. Do you think I should buy a new one? No, no. You don't need to buy a new one. It's just dirty. Okay, excellent one. Now... Not down what are the, the three problems. The first one, the first caller, spilled lemonade over, over his keyboard. And the second one has installed a new game and then nothing works. The third one, the mouse has almost stopped working. It moves very slowly or it doesn't move at all. These are the three notes about the three problems. And now we are going to see the helpline assistant, he is going to give us a solution, a solution. So first of all, I want you to think carefully, think what can you do if you have this problem? You are so clever about nowadays technology, about computers. So what can we do if we have this kind of computer problem? Think, give me an advice to work on it and to prepare my computer to fix it. I want you to give me an advice and then listen carefully if the helpline assistant advice is helpful or not. This is the first one, the first advice for the first problem. Listen carefully. 38. Exercise 2B. 4.4. Listen to find out if the helpline assistant gave any of the same advice as you. Hi. I've just done a really stupid thing. 
I was playing on my computer. The game was getting really exciting, and I was quite thirsty. So I paused my game and went to get some lemonade. When I started playing again, I forgot about my drink. Then I knocked my lemonade over the keyboard. What do you think I should do? Okay, listen carefully. Turn the computer off. Unplug the keyboard. Turn it over and pour out all the liquid. Then let it dry and plug the computer in again. If the keyboard does not work, you'll probably have to buy a new one. You could try taking the letters off and cleaning under them with a warm, damp cloth. That sometimes works. If I were you, I'd buy a plastic cover to protect the keyboard in future. So, what do you think is this advice helpful? As we can see here, he gave them a solution. First of all, we need to turn the computer off, and then we need to unplug the keyboard. Try to unplug it from the laptop or computer we have. Then. You turn it over to pour out all the liquid from it. Perhaps you can need a warm cloth, like this one, or sometimes you can use a hair dryer, a hair dryer to dry the keyboard only on cold air, not on hot air. Don't use it. Only on cold air to dry the keyboard, and then it's this. Doesn't work. You can buy a new one. So you need to buy a new one. If I want to give him an advice for the future, and what do you think he should do? I can say to him, if I were you, I'd buy a plastic cover to protect the keyboard in the future. If I were you, I'd buy. So a plastic cover. To protect the keyboard in the future, so if you get excited in the computer game, you and you forget your lemonade, and you drop it on the keyboard, it will never hurt it. So this advice is for the future. Start. The second one, the second problem. Let's listen to the advice. To the solution. Complete okay. phone conversations. Do you think the helpline assistant's advice is helpful or not? Hi, I'm calling about a very simple problem. I've just installed a new game on my computer, and now nothing works. What do you think I should do? Okay, the first thing is this: if your computer was okay before you installed the game, then the game is the cause of the problem, not the computer. The first thing you do is switch off. And then restart your computer. You often have to do this when you install new software. If that doesn't work, I should phone the game company's helpline. They will be able to tell you if the game normally works on computers like yours. Good luck. Yes, yeah, this is the advice. So you need to restart your computer again, and you can do this. When you install a new software on your computer, and if it doesn't work, I must call the computer helpline assistant and then ask him why this game didn't install on my computer. Perhaps your computer is so old and the system in its window can't open this new kind of computer game. So you need to buy a new one. A new third. Computer. The third one. Third problem and the third advice. Me, my mouse has almost stopped working. It moves very slowly, and sometimes it doesn't move at all. Do you think I should buy a new one? No, no. You don't need to buy a new one. It's just dirty. You've got two choices. You could take it to a shop and ask them to clean it for you. It won't cost very much. On the other hand, if I was in your position, I'd clean it myself. You just unplug the mouse, turn it over, take off the round plastic piece, 
Then take out the rubber ball. Clean the ball and rollers inside. Put the mouse back together again and you'll find it works perfectly. You should really do this every two or three weeks. Yes. So the advice for him, you can... You don't need to buy a new one. You, your mouse is dirty and you can clean it. You can take this plastic cover over and then you can move this rubber rubber ball from it and then try to clean it. This rubber ball, you can clean it. And from the inside also, try to clean it. You can use you can use isobrubble alcohol by this one. Or you can use it use a dry cloth. Also you need to clean the mouth bed. And then it will work probably and you don't need to buy a new one. So at the end, here we have useful language. How can I give an advice if I have a problem? First of all, identify the problem. If I want to call the headline system to give any problem I have, so I must identify the problem. I must introduce what is the problem I am having. First of all, I can say to him, hello, hi, I'm calling above. Hello, I hope you can help me. I was and when. And asking for advice, as we have seen. What do you think I should do? What would you do if you were me? What would you do in my position? What would you do if you were in my position? And how can I give him advice and suggesting solutions? I think you should. Why don't you? If I were you, I. If I were you in your position, I. Have you tried? And what about? So, here are the solutions. Let me give you an example. Do you speak English fluently? Do you speak English fluently? How can I suggest solutions by using should? First of all, I can give you a, an advice, you should try to practice English, because language is a practice. Language is a practice. The more you practice it, the more you are going to learn it. Language is a practice. The second advice, you shouldn't translate too much. You don't need to know every single meaning of a word in, in Arabic. Just listen to the whole context. The word is in it, and then you will understand it. Don't translate. Don't translate every single word you are not understanding. I think you should you should read more novels in English. And why don't you try to watch more movies in English language, and then you will practice listening to the language. The first one. Sorry, the second one, we can use conditionals. We can use conditionals. We can say, for example, if I were you, I, if I were in your position, I, I'll give you an example. If I were you, I'd study harder. If I were you, this is the second condition, it is in the past. If I were you, I would study harder. Okay. So how can I give advice? First of all, I want you to differentiate between advice and a verb. I advise you, or I advise you, to buy a good dictionary. The pronunciation is advice, advice. So it is Z here. It is a verb, advice. And the second one, advice, it is a noun. Can you give me some advice? Here the pronunciation is advice. It is a noun. So this one, advice, is a verb, and this one, advice, is a noun. So advice is uncountable noun. This means that we can't say an advice. It is uncountable. So instead we say some advice or a piece of advice. A piece of advice. For example, let me give you some advice. Let me give you some advice. She gave me a very useful piece of advice to buy a good dictionary. 
a very useful piece of advice to buy a dictionary. So we can say, have you tried, have you tried to buy a good dictionary? What about learning from educational programs? What about? So this is an advice. Advice. Now, after this, I have a problem. In my computer, I have a problem. It is overheating. This problem I'm facing with my computer, it is overheating. What can I do? Can you fix it for me? Give me an advice. What can you do or what, can, what would you do if you were in my position? If you were me, what would you do? Think carefully, give me an advice. How can I fix my computer again? Let's read the solution. So, if a computer case lacks a sufficient cooling system, then the computer's components may start to generate excess heat during operation. So avoid your computer burning itself. Uh, turn it off. This is the first advice. Turn it off and let it rest if it is getting hot. So you, you or the computer need a rest. Additionally, you can check the fan to make sure it is working properly. So perhaps we are having a fan of which, is, which doesn't work probably, so we need to make sure that the fan is working probably. Finally, after finishing this advice lesson, we have a quote, computers are magnificent tools for the realization of our dreams, but no machine can replace the human spark of spirit, compassion, love, and understanding. This is Louis Grinstock. So who, who is he? He was the chairman of the board of IBM. He was the chairman of the board of IBM. It is a car. So why do you think he said this? Why do you think he said this? Perhaps because nowadays we are relying too much on computers. We are relying too much on computers. But one day, IBM has faced a problem of going out of, of marketing. So, Grinstead is credited with having saved IBM from going out of business in the 1990s. In the 1990s. After the 1990s, from 1993 to 2002, he was the chairman of the board of IBM. So here, again, we must rely on human spirit, on human mentality and the spark of spirit and combustion. So we must need human to fix any problem we are having. We don't need to rely on computers. We have mind and we have our mentality to think of any problem we are facing. So, Grinstead is credited with having saved IBM from going out of business in the 1990s. So, he has fixed the problem, not the computer. So, we need computer, yes, nowadays, but also we need our mentality to use it carefully. This is the end of my lesson. I hope you have enjoyed it, and see you next time.